the wandering free adventure travel segment. Find your adventure on www.wanderingfree.co.za. Right, it's Wondering Free Travel segment, which means it's the ideal opportunity for me to just quickly introduce the competition that's happening at the moment with Balls Radio and with Wondering Free on Twitter. If you go over to Twitter, you will see that we're running a competition for an opportunity to win a trip to Turkey. Uh, and all you have to do to enter that competition is tweet with the hashtag do something unique and with Wondering Free's own Twitter handle, which is at Wondering Free SA. So with those two things, anything you, you want to tweet, anything you want to say, it doesn't have to be about uh, about travel. Um, it doesn't have to be about Turkey, but, you know, I mean, whatever's on your mind, let us know. Just use those particular hashtags and it automatically counts as an entry and you get to win yourself uh, a package tour around Turkey. Go on to the WonderingFree.co.za website. Uh, have a look at their turkey packages. You can choose any one of them uh, if you do win. And uh, and as an added bonus, they're also offering the opportunity for you to take a partner or friend at 50% off. All you have to do to, to qualify for that little benefit is like them on uh, on Facebook and go to Twitter and follow them there. So that's a really simple thing. If you're following them on Twitter or liking them on Facebook and uh, and then you win... You also get to take a partner and friend along with you on this particular uh, turkey trip, which is pretty awesome. Um, free holidays, free stuff. I'm a big fan. So uh, if, you, if you're confused by anything I've just said, go to balls.co.za. Uh, Maz has very kindly gone and put it up on the competitions page. You can just click on the win button there and all the details and things are there for the Do Something Unique with Wondering Free and Balls Radio. Let's welcome Sarah to studio because Sarah's brought another one of her adventure packages for us to hear about. Welcome to studio, Sarah. Hi, Warren. Okay. All right. So uh, what are we dealing with this week? What's the, the basic idea? Well, it's a week to go until the Cape Argus. Um, well, just a week and a half. Um, but right. the whole Wandering Free is heading down there. So all we can think about is cycling. And we have selected the Aegean Coast and Lakes ride as our Turkish package that we want to talk to you about today. This is one of the options that you can win if you um, enter the competition. Right, so if you are a cyclist and you have entered the competition, this might be one of the ones you've had your eye on. Uh, okay, so what's the basic idea? I mean, you're saying it's Aegean Coast, so I'm guessing it's a lot about the coastline and about cycling through the natural scenery? Well, it's both the lake regions and the coastal regions, so you're really seeing quite a lot of diverse scenery in Turkey. Um, you start off in the south, um, and then you travel further north through the, the lake district of Turkey, so that's a lot of hills and forests and trout farms and lakes. Um, you uh, visit a number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites, and then you come back south along the coast, along the Aegean Sea, where you're stopping off and seeing a lot of the beaches and coves. Okay, so you say UNESCO World Heritage Sites. What are we talking here? Well, um, Pamukkale is one of them that you visit, and this is the site where the Greek and Roman remains for the city of Heropolis um, are located. And it's also very famous for this 160-meter white cliff that cascades down in terraced pools, which are all sort of hot carbonated spring pools that you can swim in. So that's worth visiting. And you also see Ephesus, which is one of the great cities of antiquity. Um, it, if you've ever been to Pompeii in Italy, um, Ephesus makes it look small. It's got a 24,000-seater uh, theater that you can visit. It's got a very well-preserved library. Um, and it's also the location where the Statue of Artemis, which is one of the ancient wonders of the world, was located. So definitely a, a site w worth visiting. Well, actually, uh, coming up, uh, I've got a top 10 unique destinations list, and Pamukkale is on there. It's one of those places that people don't necessarily know the name for again, but if you see a picture, because it's basically just these hot springs that are terraced, almost like rice paddies in China, and, uh, and, and it's really unique kind of a place. It's really sort of interesting, and I, be I believe that Romans have been going there for thousands of years to to do their spa bar thing. And I mean, there's, there's a lot of history there, isn't there? There is. It's very difficult to describe it. Um, but if you're on the internet, type it in and you'll see what we mean. It's very beautiful. Yeah, and, and you'll recognize it. You'll know exactly what it's about. Okay, so uh, how long is the tour? What's the accommodation like? What, the, what are the basics, the kind of the stuff that people need to know? Sure. It's an eight-day tour. 
Um, we've spoken a lot about centre-based trips over the last few weeks, but this one you're travelling quite a bit, so you're staying in a different uh, guest house um, every single evening. Exodus always chooses small, locally run guest houses, so you get an authentic Turkish feeling. We include a lot of the food on the tour, so it's all the breakfasts, it's five lunches and four dinners, um, and on the nights that you do have free, you can go into the quaint villages and you can eat at the Lakantas, which is a traditional Turkish restaurant, so lots of meze and baklava and uh, lots of delicious food. Right, and you said, you said that you're traveling quite a bit, and I know you also said that this is a cycling tour. I mean, now how fit do we actually have to be? Let's be, let's be honest with me. If I'm cycling, I want to know what I'm in for. Sure. It's a moderate-based cycling tour so you're spending five days cycling um, it's not for the faint-hearted um, Exodus is quite serious about their cycling so you're doing about 50 to 60 kilometers road right. uh, road riding it is a hundred percent vehicle supported though so if you have a couple where maybe one of the partners is more of an avid cyclist than the other partner um, they have a vehicle that you can get on at any time if you don't want to do one of the steep ascents um, and you just want to sit in the back and relax or you've had enough for the day that is an option available. all right so you can actually sit in the back they don't tie you on the roof with the luggage or... no they okay. have a nice comfortable Air conditioned bus that is traveling with the group at all times. They don't have like a hat that you have to wear for being <laughs> like, like, this is the failure hat. <laughs> if you can't cycle your 50 years. No, because uh, I know I need to know. These are important things. I can't go there and deal with the shape. Um, no, but okay, so, so 50 or 60 Ks isn't so bad. I suppose a normal person, if they've done some cycling, if they've had some sort of training, that'll take about three or four hours. Yeah, it's 100% tarmac, so you're, you're cycling on road bikes. So okay. it does te tend to go a little faster than if you think about that on a single track mountain biking right. route. Okay, all right, so what does it cost? What's the tour cost and when's the next few leaving? Are they throughout the year, all that sort of thing? Uh, yeah, there are various departures throughout the year. Um, trip cost starts at 12,079 Rand per person. Balls, readers, listeners, as always, get a 500 Rand discount. Um, and as I mentioned, that's an eight-day trip with most of your meals, full guided, a vehicle with you at all time, and sightseeing included. So a very well-priced tour. Right, so there you go. And uh, obviously that means if it is fully guided with a car and everything else, they'll, they'll load your your luggage onto the actual car. You don't have to hump it around on your back or on your bicycle with you. Uh, do people need to bring their own bicycles? We hire bikes out to everybody. Um, there is an additional cost. It's generally about £60 for your tour cost, but some people who are quite particular about their bikes, if they've got a very fancy one, will choose to take their own bike with them. Okay, so the option exists cost. to do either or? Yes. Okay, well, there you go. Thank you very much, Sarah. That's, uh, what's the name of that tour? It's the Aegean Coast and Lakes Ride. You can find it on wonderingfree.co.za. And thanks, everybody, for your entries. Keep, please keep sending them through for the competition. Well, there you go. So that's one of the competition, one of the things you could, you could opt to take uh, if you do win the competition. Uh, once again, just go to Twitter, tweet with the hashtag do something unique and with Wondering Free's at Wondering Free SA handle. Um, and if you do follow them, or if you do like them on Facebook, uh, you get the opportunity to take a partner at 50% reduction, which basically then means that uh, you have a friend, and that's very nice. I mean, Leon, you obviously don't need to worry about that, uh, not having any friends to take with you, but there we go. <laughs> Good, so that was the, uh, the Wondering Free package. Remember, you always get a 500 Rand discount. If you just have to, when you contact Sarah from Wondering Free, just mention that you heard about it on Balls Radio, and you want your discount.